Hey guys, quick video today. We're gonna do a quick breakdown on an E2 that I picked up. It's disgusting. Um, always wear protection. This thing is disgusting. You don't know what people are picking up. Yeah, I'm just right when the rubber broke. See all that? That's years of neglect. Take some hot soapy water and wash these things out after every use. Again, I need to measure this, but the new SRX basin is not as big as this. So we'll clean that. We're gonna have to put this in the sink. Ugh, it's disgusting. It does run, we need to cut it on real fast. All I'm gonna do, pop the cap off, take the cord off. You've got your HEPA filter in here. You've got two little tabs here on the back, on the bottom. Pop those off. access the filter. You can see how filthy that is. I dare say they probably have never changed this. Motor blades don't look too bad. Also we need to take the separator off. A little handy screwdriver that's applied. Be careful with these because these are all plastic now. I dare say they very seldom cleaned the separator. Again, this is normal maintenance. The rainbow tells you, your Rexer tells you to clean this every, after every use, but most people never touch it. Look at all that grime. It's absolutely disgusting. All right, we want to get to the good stuff. These little caps pop off. I always am very careful with the uh, decals in here. There's two little tabs that actually on these, so be careful with them. You can now access the clamps that actually hold this machine together. Again, I've not taken the SRX apart yet, so I don't know how that one works. All you have to do is press down on these. And there's your motor. Don't look too bad. Some gunk build up on the bone here, and all this all this is in there for is to quiet the motor. That's that's pretty much it. You've got some cables to undo. These are all lock pins. Little clamp under each one. Pop them off. your control board. It's got dirt in it. Um, we'll just wipe that out. That's about it on that. You can now, if you need to, take this and wash it with hot soapy water. This is a sponge. So if you do do this, you have to let it air dry before you pop it back in here. But that's literally all there is to taking this thing apart. got your motor part now we're going to take and undo it's got three screws that hold this motor together I'm going to take this apart if this doesn't look too bad I'll wipe this out clean it with some hot soupy water um, kind of disinfect everything make it shine that's about it on that same with this, we'll just vacuum it out, wipe it off. Make sure everything's clean. But this is what we want to get to. I need this is my lovely assistant. <laughs> Go for it, see? Yeah. I take no responsibility for any of you trying this. Yeah. 
take it from there. We're gonna take and wash all this stuff in the, in the sink, but again, disgusting. We'll take the nut off. And again, I've always, I said this in the last video I did on these. If you take these apart, take a permanent marker, mark blade one, blade two, blade three, so you know. So when you put this thing back together, you're not going, where in God's name did this go? So um, I'll be back in just a second. So what we're doing, breaking it apart, cleaning inside, doing a full acid bath on the fans. These were the fans that came out. And as you can see, they do get impacted over time. Wet dust builds up on the insides of these. I didn't and think rain will allow dust to go through. I won't get into that conversation today. I won't even go there either. And you know, that is a common thing. You know, we see a lot as the marketing with Rainbow is wet dust doesn't fly. But as you clearly see, this machine was engulfed with dust. And some will say, well, you're not changing your water enough. Well, if wet dust doesn't fly, then why did they put a HEPA filter on it to start with? And for the people who watched my SRX video, you can't see me because I'm off camera right here at the sink, but we will do a power test and show you the difference between the E2 and the new SRX, just so you know. And Lord Jesus, I got enough paint on that last video. Yeah, that was crazy. All right, we're back. We just cleaned all this stuff out. The only thing I can't get out without tearing this thing totally apart, you see a little bit of dirt in those screw wheels? That's gonna be there. I took a flathead and tried to dig that out. All we're gonna do now is replace the fan blades. So the way these are set up, there's three blades. One was on the top here. You can flip these around and make them look brand new again. So I'm gonna put this one on the top. So first blade on, second blade. Get your nut. And then put your other nut. These are supposed to move freely, so. Do you tighten yours down? Uh, until somewhat, and then when it's all put back together, and then we do a final touch down. Yeah, just make sure they move freely. That's it. Then we're going to take the motor housing. Yeah. Tell them about the cleaners that you know, mm -hmm. you're using. And again, I don't know how well you guys can see this. There's a tiny little rubber gasket that goes all the way around the inside of this. The way this housing is designed, this needs to line up with the right back there. And then all you, re all you need to do is replace your three screws. gentle with these because you don't want to crack the housing so it is plastic. That is it. And if you want to right now you can actually put the separator back on. That's cleaned. Make sure all the parts are dry. One of your best uh, things, well, a couple of things actually. I love Dawn dish detergent because it takes the cut the grease, grime, and all that. This is something new. 
it is good for stone, wood, carpet, sofas, leather, and more. <clears throat> this is a friend of ours. I'm down at House of Vacuums doing this video today in the triad. G is a cleaner out of New York, and he this is his formula. It is non-toxic, pet-friendly, all-natural, and all-purpose, and it smells good, too. You can use this on just about anything. I've tried it on tile. I've, I've tried it on my leather. It works fantastic. I think G uses it in his carpet machines and his upholstery machines, too, so it pulls stains out all that kind of stuff. So get you some G. We use it here in the store yeah. uh, for cleaning. That's what we use yeah. to clean the rainbows and stuff. It really gets up any and all stains, mm -hmm. so that is a phenomenal and it's product. it's non-toxic, so that's good stuff. Correct. But again, Dawn is what I use a lot, this, and also Purple Power. So that's all there is to put the uh, motor back in. Now it needs to go back in the housing. And again, I've wiped all of this down. It's clean, it's ready to go. I did pop out the LED lights. So I need to put those back in. Remember, exhaust goes in the back. Have to say that and it's just basically a matter of lining the exhaust up and making sure it's straight. I don't have enough body weight, so I'm gonna set this on the floor. flip over rubber gasket will form a nice seal these are your safety switches for the um, water basin all right so don't forget to Reconnect your um, lines for your water basin safety switch there. And now we're going to put the filter back on. All right, so I got everything back together. The motor, my computer board is uh, seated down. I've reconnected all of the wires. I need to put the lid back on. Everything's been cleaned. We need to reconnect this three pin. There's little hoop, hoops on all of these connectors. Just make sure um, that you're not pinching any wires when you reseat this lid. push down and it locks in place. That is it. We've got a new uh, HEPA. We're going to pop on the back of this. And HEPA filter. Got two pins on the top. We need to seat. in the place. And then you've got your core view on your exhaust cap. That is it to putting the machine back together. See how nice and clean that is. Make sure to clean the seal. That should be done every time you use the machine. And then all we're going to do is pop the graphics back in. Honestly no rhyme or reason. Make sure there's two little tabs up in there that's it we'll clean our little this is good to clean the separator it's also your nut this sits Nice little compartment, we're right there. That's 
That's all there is to putting the machine back together. This water basin will be replaced because it's stained beyond measure. Make sure when you're filling this water basin up, I don't care what model you have, that you got the water right at the top of this knob. I've seen a lot of people put not enough. The way these water basins are designed, there's a tiny little notch. That's just enough airflow to get started. You need to have this water basin filled up to the uh, water line, water, water mark there. And that is it. I'm gonna cut this thing on, clean the hose, the power head, and we'll turn it on for you here in a few. I'm gonna take these apart and wash them. I want to see the dog here. So on the power heads here, you got a lock unlock button. You just want to make sure this turns the unlock. Got a tab on both sides. Also got tabs here. It's a juggle act to pull all four of these apart and then lift up. We'll wash that. This one has the cogged belt. I'll have my gloves on. You've got two on the side of the wheels, two little clamps that lock in place. You have to take a knife or a flathead Pry those in there and then pull the two ends apart. Dear God, look at that. I 
You can take and finagle this over a sink of hot water and dawn or purple power or cheese multi purpose. I'm gonna clean this real good, so I'll be right back. Alright, I've gotten everything washed up, cleaned up, it's all ready to go back together, even the brush roll. The motor's been cleaned few little places that you're ne never going to be able to get into, but for the most part, it's clean. So all I'm going to do is flip this over. Lights fit down in here. I'm gonna just do this. You want to get the belt on the uh, on the motor shaft first, and these little side brushes, which they've run away with, I'm gonna go ahead and seat them. roll them into place. Set some hair on this brush roll. Just make sure when you put the bottom plate back on in a, in a few minutes. This has two, the, the uh, air intake has two little flat sides on both sides. They need to go on each side of this. When you're putting your LED lights on, there's a tiny little slit right here that these wires sit down into. Otherwise, they're going to be pinched. Just pop that on. Line everything up. And again, everything just basically snaps into place. If you feel like you're good, push down. And just check around. Everything looks good. It's all back in one piece. World of difference, isn't it? Again, normal maintenance, it does not matter what vacuum you've got. Normal maintenance goes a long, long, long way. So that's all there is. I did wash the wands. Basically, I take a sprayer, spray hot water, soap down in these, because these do get sticky stuff inside, depending on what you're, if you're sucking up dog poop or pee, trust me, it gets sticky in there and it will clog it up. So wash those. Everything's been wiped down with G's and we are back in business. I did take the hose. I did take the hose and wash it out. 
basically just hang one end over a sink, take the other end, hold the sprayer nozzle up and keep spraying water down in it and then work it back and forth, hot, hot water, work it back and forth in the hose and then just hold one end up high and it dumps out. So that's an easy way to clean your hose. I've got this hose hanging up to dry. But again, all of your moving parts, I'll take a rag and wipe the exterior of this down with some G's. Um, other than that, we're ready to go. I did order a new attachment set because this came with no attachments. So there we had an attachment holder on the front or the wand, dust brush, crevice tool, and an upholstery brush tool as well as the floor brush. So This is just a quick comparison. E2 Gold. Quick video to show the sand pickup with this power head. And just so you know, the power head is on, but the lights don't work because I messed them up. Flip it over so they can see. The brush roll will be off. So watch the spinning. Yeah. I'm just gonna hold it down here. See that? So you can use a power head without the brush roll on, without a floor brush. Because that's what they're designed to do. Every the SRX design is bad, period. End of story. No argument.